Rescue workers in eastern Japan are evacuating people from homes submerged by devastating floods. Torrential rain pummeled wide areas as a tropical storm cut across the country's main island. A levee broke on the Kinugawa River about 60 kilometers from Tokyo. You can see it collapsing next to the falling tree. Officials in Joso City say this happened just after noon Thursday. Police say they've received reports that houses and cars were swept away, some with people inside. They say they're having difficulty reaching inundated areas because of strong currents. Prefectural officials say seven people in Joso City are missing. Rescue crews are using helicopters to evacuate stranded residents. They've airlifted about 50 people from balconies and rooftops, and many are turning to social media to appeal for help. The man on the lower part of your screen clung to a pole for over an hour before rescuers arrived. Local officials say some 200 people are still stranded. About 100 sought shelter on the second floor of a supermarket. Employees say the flood water rose to two meters inside the store. Thousands have fled to evacuation centers, but some of those buildings have also been flooded. Land ministry officials say nearly 7,000 homes and other buildings may have been damaged in Joso City alone. We have seen massive floods and landslides in a wide area around Tokyo as a tropical storm ripped through the main island of Japan. Rising floodwaters also inundated homes in Tochigi Prefecture. Part of a hot springs resort hotel collapsed. Generators at two water power plants have submerged and become inoperable. One woman went missing in a landslide in the prefecture. Weather officials say the storm has changed to a low pressure system over the Sea of Japan, but humid air continues to flow in, leaving a belt of rain clouds. Some parts of Tochigi Prefecture have had more than 500 millimeters of rain over the past 24 hours. That's more than double the amount of rain the region typically receives for the entire month of September. Weather officials warned of major floods and landslides. This is a seriously dangerous situation. We consider it an emergency. The government will make all-out efforts to protect the people and will take all necessary disaster management measures. Local authorities have ordered at least 130,000 people to evacuate. As rescue efforts are still underway to look for the missing and to help people evacuate, the situation becomes more desperate as the night progresses here. Sayaka Mori joins us with an update on the conditions that rescuers are faced with Sayaka. Yes, James, unprecedented amounts of heavy rain have caused historic flooding across the north of the Kanto region. Emergency warnings are still in place in Tochigi and Ibaraki prefectures, so people should take all measures to protect themselves. Now, Tochigi, Nikko, had over 550 millimeters of rain in just 24 hours. That's one-third of the annual rainfall for this area, so that has caused landslides here and also flooding in surrounding areas. Now, the rain started yesterday, so Nikko had 620 millimeters rain over the past 48 hours. Definitely the record-breaking number. And Tokyo, central Tokyo, had 240 millimeters rain, more than the monthly rainfall. Now, what happened is that there is a unusual setup. There is a low pressure since over the Sea of Japan, which used to be a tropical storm, and it tracked ample warmth and the humid air from the south. And across the Pacific, there was a typhoon named Kilo, and Kilo brought westerly wet winds across this area and then to the north a high pressure system brought northerly winds so all air collided into each other across northern japan and it caused a vertical line of heavy rainfall over the kanto region and it continued for many hours and kinugawa river actually flows from the north to the south so heavy rain fell on the kinugawa river for many hours now good news is that rain is easing across the kanto region but instead heavy rain is now shifting towards the north so the hokuriku region and hokkaido will see quite heavy rain for the next couple of days. Back to you, James. The flooding has been really bad in Japan. 
not even too far from Fukushima. Typhoon Ito, a dramatic scene in Japan. 170,000 people have been evacuated and radioactive water is now spewing into the sea. North of the capital, Tokyo, the dikes are broken after days of rainfall. Several cities were then submerged. The government called on tens of thousands of people to flee their homes. There's nearly a million affected as freak rain surges over rank banks and sweeps away buildings. So the rain is really bad over there. The radioactive contamination that's going to be around Japan, it's going to go in these water streams and rivers. It's going to carry itself out into the ocean. Nearly a million people have been evacuated and told to leave their homes in eastern Japan. After freak torrential rains caused flooding and left buildings obliterated, two missing and many more stranded, warnings have been issued to more than 5 million people as the populous Pacific nation is battered by harsh rainfall. Some areas of Japan, principal island of Honshu, have received double their September rainfall in 48 hours as tropical storm Itoa rages across the island's central strip. Japanese local television has broadcast images of perilous rescue attempts by helicopters. A 63-year-old woman was missing after a landslide struck the building where she lived. Another man believed to be in his 70s in Hozo, 56 kilometers, 35 miles north of Tokyo, was trapped in his home as a flood water swept it away. 35 miles north of Tokyo, and that would be 160 miles south of Fukushima, where the storm is probably hitting right now. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said the government will work as one to prioritize the safety of people and to do our best to prevent any further disaster. Japan has worked to improve its disaster response measures in the wake of the country's 2011 earthquake and tsunami, which left 20,000 dead. More than four years later, Fukushima is one of the areas in Japan which has had the massive rainfall, whether officials predicted at least 200 millimeters, 8 inches more in parts of eastern Japan as the rain continues over the next 24 hours, after which is expected to stop in the worst affected areas rainfall, which had 600 millimeters. This is from the standard. Japan flags grave danger from floods and water tainted by Fukushima nuclear plant radiation. Tens of thousands of people were ordered to evacuate across Japan today as heavy rain pounded the country. Sending radiated tainted waters into the ocean at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant, waist high floods in some areas left rescuers scrambled to pluck people to safety as a wide area was deluged into the wake of the Typhoon Atoa. This is a scale of downpour that we have not experienced before. Grave danger could be imminent, forecaster. Told an emergency press conference to Japan, meteorological agency issued special warnings for Tochigi and Ibaraki. More than a dozen people were injured, including a 77-year-old woman who broke her leg after falling in strong winds, local reports said. Itoa, which smashed into Japan yesterday, moved out into the Sea of Japan East Sea by the end of the day. But a wall of rain continued to lash the country. Parts of the central Tochigi had been almost 60 centimeters of rain since Monday evening. Fukushima nuclear plant is overwhelmed, the site's drainage pumps, a spokesperson for the operator of Tokyo Electric Power said. TEPCO is storing huge amounts of water used to cool the reactors sent into the meltdowns that happened in 2011. Tochigi authorities ordered to evacuate, while another 116,000 were advised to leave their homes. Public broadcaster NHK said in Ibaraki Prefecture, at least 20,000 were ordered to evacuate for fears of flooding. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said the government was on a high alert. The government will stand united and do its best to deal with the disaster. By putting its highest priority on people's lives, Ape said. Except he's keeping that Fukushima water close to the ocean. He's really caring a lot there. The, meteor the meteorological observatory in Tochigi said the Kanigawa River, which also runs through Ibaraki, overflowed earlier today. In Tochigi, Kanuma City, a local official said rescue workers were searching for a missing person believed to be buried in a mudslide. We don't know the details of the person, he said. NHK reported it was a woman in her 60s, buried after mudslides destroyed houses. Her husband was rescued soon after.
Epic flooding in Japan threatening Fukushima. Serious concerns about nuclear power plant in the flood zone. Hundreds of tons of contaminated water have already flowed into the ocean. Torrential downpours are overwhelming the site. It's the worst rain to hit the area in the past 50 years. Typhoon causing injuries and canceled trains and flights and radioactive water leaks. TEPCO announced on September 9th that rainwater contaminated with radioactive materials had leaked from the plant's drainage system into the ocean. The heavy rains brought out Typhoon Atoa exceeded the capacity of a transfer pump. This is the seventh time of possible or confirmed leaks of radiated contaminated water since the utility began transferring the water from the canal in April. TEPCO says it does not know how much contaminated water leaked into the ocean and is currently analyzing the concentration of radioactive matter in the leak water. Epic flooding Japan threatening Fukushima plant. Serious concerns this morning about a nuclear power plant in a flood zone. Torrential downpours are raising the site's drainage pumps. A spokesperson for the operator Tokyo Electric Power TEPCO told The Guardian hundreds of tons of contaminated water have flowed into the ocean from the Fukushima nuclear plant. Rainfall has reached around 500 millimeters around Hozo, NHK said, with weather officials expecting at least 200 more in parts of eastern Japan, including Fukushima, the crippled nuclear reactor. Japan flags grave danger from floods and water tainted by Fukushima nuke plant radiation. Tens of thousands of people were ordered to evacuate across Japan today as heavy rains pounded the country, sending radiated tainted waters into the ocean at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. The Churchill downpour has also exacerbated a contaminated water problem at the Fukushima nuclear plant as it overwhelmed the site's drainage pumps. A landslide warning for parts of the Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures, including areas near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, that's catastrophic meltdown after the 2011 Toyoko earthquake and tsunami. According to the Shimbum, a national newspaper, the heavy rain caused contaminated water from the site to run off into the Pacific Ocean for several hours early Wednesday. More radioactive water has leaked out from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, leak into the Pacific Ocean. This is from the Telegraph. The huge rains also exacerbated a contaminated water problem at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant, as it overwhelmed the site's drainage pumps, sending radiation water into the ocean. A spokesman Tashihiro Yamagishi said by phone, adding the company is still investigating the leak. They're investigating. Just try to cope, alright? They're investigating for the lead. They need more duct tape, guys. In addition to the clear danger facing residents, Japanese authorities are particularly concerned about the flooding given its proximity to one of the country's biggest Nuclear power plants, Fukushima, damaged by the 2011 earthquake and subsequent tsunami. That the disaster, as it has overwhelmed drainage pumps at the site's contaminated water treatment facility, a Japanese government official told ABC News. Flow water has also overwhelmed the drainage pumps at the Fukushima nuclear plant, Japan Times reports. Citing a Tokyo Electric Power Company spokesman who said the flooding sent hundreds of tons of contaminated water into the ocean. Typhoon Ito causes leak of radioactive water in the Fukushima Typhoon Ito originated leaks of radioactive water from the Fukushima plant in Japan. Leaks occurred in dams located around the tank storing liquid used to cool the reactors. With this leak, there have been seven detected since last April, when a pumping system was implemented to prevent radioactive water emanating from the reactor to flow in place away from the plant.
contaminated water from Fukushima leaks into the sea due to Typhoon Toa. The Fukushima plant has been found to be leaking contaminated water to the sea following heavy rainfall in the region caused by Typhoon Toa. A spokesperson of Fukushima operator confirmed to EFE Thursday. The leaks have been caused in the embankments around the tank where highly radioactive water is stored after they use the cool reactors. Tens of thousands of people are ordered to flee their homes across Japan as heavily rains have pounded the country, sending radiation tainted water into the oceans at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. Kyoto Heavy rains whose severity was described as occurring once every 50 years were observed in the Fukushima prefecture. Fukushima Prefecture, which was devastated by the 2011 tsunami, saw more than 30 centimeters, one foot of rain in 48 hours, the heaviest downpour there in 50 years, according to the NHK news broadcast. Yep, all that contaminated water, it's flowing out to the sea. It's a gift that keeps on giving, Fukushima. Fukushima would ever stop in our lifetimes. Since these big downpours and they've been doing these releases, I know they pumped out the water out of the reactor buildings. I have seen the rad measurements drop on a Geiger counter that's located uh, near the reactor building. It dropped 4,000 NSVH. So I don't know. But then they dump that water into the ocean, so if they can't take advantage of the moment for pulling out that water to do some serious decontamination permanently, then it was all for nothing. It was a waste. You fucked up the ocean for nothing. If you agree.